high espresso workout just because it's ski season and leg burning season anyhow we're gonna do a nice leg and then core burning session now we're gonna start with a warm-up we're gonna do legs first and then core each two sets so start with your feet hip width apart we're gonna go low into a nice little squat and then bend over to one side into what I call a, she, a C shape. So you're crossing over one foot behind the other and then leaning over towards that same side, reaching your arm overhead. Then get back into your nice little squat, knees um, pointing forwards, hip pushing backwards, and then go into your nice little C shape. And try to really bring space between those rib cages. This is especially a side stretch to open the waist, to open Open the thorax to get space between those ribs and also to get your head moving so you can follow your foot with your head or you can simply look sideways if you've been doing ballet use your techniques <laughs> and then let's go and move on to the walkouts to plank start in standing position again feet hip width apart then bend forward feet and hands on the ground and then crawl forward come into plank crawl backwards and roll or flip up into standing hands overhead if you want to engage that core and then bend over again from your hips crawling forwards feet are always hip width apart uh, if you want a little bit of a challenge you can bring them slightly closer and hands are always shoulder width apart with the middle finger pointing forward, middle fingers are parallel and pointing forward and the hands are shoulder width apart and in the end position in the plank, your hands are underneath your shoulders. Yes, here's a nice hip opener. Um, the lunge back and rotation, this is an alternating one. So choose your leg and let's get the party started. So one leg lunges behind, go low. Then the inner arm rests on the floor, the outer arm opens up and twists towards the ceiling or sky. Then come back up into standing and change legs. You do want to have that other hand on the floor to give yourself a little bit of resistance, not to like go too far into that rotation, but to have one shoulder, one hand firmly on the ground. This is your reference point where you want to hold on to. So one shoulder always reaches to the floor while the other shoulder in that rotation reaches towards the sky. Very nice. That opens up the shoulder girdle. And just to warm up the core a little bit, get into a plank, 45 seconds. Try to stay on your toes. And when I mean toes, I really mean toes. So stay on the balls of your feet with your heels over your toes. This is great mobility training for uh, the toe joint. And this is really important to stay young and agile. And again, here the hands are shoulder width apart. Middle fingers are parallel and pointing forwards. And while you're in that plank, try to pull your shoulder blades away from the ears. Get a nice long neck, really tall. Push your head forwards and bring those shoulders as far back towards your hips as you can. Really good. Well done. Before we start with the first round, have a little hangout and rest and simply bend forward from your hip, feet hip width apart, pointing forward, and then stretch your hamstrings, stretch your back. Relax your head, relax your shoulders. You can either stay static, like uh, in the frame, or you can move your head and move your shoulders a little bit before we go into our leg burning session. Yeah, here we go. So we're starting with a squat and raise on toes. This is 60 seconds to really get those legs burning and starting. Engine starts up, here we go. Squat low down into a squat, pushing your hips backwards and down, and then reach all the way up with your chest coming into standing, and bring your weight onto your balls of the feet, meaning onto your toes, but pushing the balls into the ground. So this is the intermediate version moving slowly towards the squat 
jump which is coming in the next season i'm already working on it hey hey but for now we're still doing the intermediate one or if that lifting is too much for you just squat and lengthen so when you squat down you can bring your arms overhead in elongation in continuation of your upper body this will work your shoulders and your upper back nicely, also opening your chest and making sure that you're not collapsing forward. You'll get a second chance later. Now, down onto the floor, onto your mat. You're pushing your left leg into the floor and reaching your right leg to the ceiling. And now just bring your hips up. This is a nice focused isolated movement for your hamstrings and for your gluteus so for your butt muscles and so this is gonna focus on the area of your behind leg while the squats are a bit more on the forwards on the quadriceps of your legs keep pushing and if you feel like it bring your arms onto the ground and work your upper back as well a little bit by pushing your arms firmly into the ground pulling your shoulder blades slightly toward each other lifting your chest lifting your sternum your head stays on the ground and here we go we're gonna do that same leg the left leg is gonna be working and the right leg is gonna be swinging around so right leg goes behind into a lunge and then lifting into a knee raise make sure that your legs are 90 90 degrees when you're bending so that your kneecap from that left knee stays behind your toes big angle here as much as you can and then bring those arms in diagonally right leg lifts left arm lifts and then exchange while bending your right arm is forward nice bend here sprinter position makes it all more fun keep your chest open keep breathing and remember not to get stiff on your neck and head just wobble it around a bit and get back down onto your mat we're changing left leg now is up in the air and your right leg is pushing into the ground that right foot is firmly pushing into the ground meaning your whole foot your heel your outer edge of your foot and then all of your toes all five toes with the most importance on the ball of your big toe this is where your strength is coming from the ball of your big toe and your heel so keep pushing into the ground left leg is pointing towards the ceiling and now if you again want to work your upper back push those arms into the ground lifting and pushing your chest a little bit up and pulling those shoulder blades together keep breathing keep opening up and lifting so this is the pre-workout for gluteus and hamstrings and here we go with the bigger movement so now your right leg is doing all the work and your left leg is basically swinging so we're stepping backwards into a low lunge and then coming back up into standing straight and tall and into our knee raise so you want to be moving in one continuous movement so not simply just standing tall and then raising the knee but you're coming straight away from your lunge into that knee raise one continuous movement try that make it smooth and make it look effortless <laughs> try to make it look effortless and then bring those arms in sprinter arms meaning moving diagonally to those legs you're doing great do those legs burn does it burn yay so here we have a little bit of a rest hamstring stretch they've been working a lot and a nice little back stretch that's always nice so you can come into your low squat position just squatting low with your toes slightly open feet a bit apart and then bend forward come into your full stretch position bending forward and just hanging from your hips relaxing your back relaxing your shoulders and relaxing your head and in this active rest stretch um, we also want to catch our breath and try to slow your breath down a little bit so your body gets ready for the next session 
when you squat inhale and when you bend forward exhale and here we go second rundown for our leg burners again we're doing our squats feet are hip width apart toes are pointing outwards and here we go shifting the back shifting the weight back and down and then reaching and raising onto your toes into that toe raise bring those arms in try as much as you can to keep your back straight the back needs to work here brace your core pull the navel in this is supporting the back so try to pull the navel in but keep the chest open sternum lifts and navel is pulling in try that sternum lifts navel is pulling in that whole time while you keep breathing oh yeah <laughs> do that and you'll have great posture so your shoulders stay down even if those arms are moving oh my god so many things to to look for get a couple more in this is your overall workout so we get those legs starting up and here we go isolating the left leg first we're having two sets on the ground and then standing so left leg is pushing into the floor right leg is coming up get into that hip lift position and if you're feeling like it don't touch the ground with your hips anymore stay in the air just doing smaller pulses and not touching the ground anymore this will increase the intensity so the time under tension increases you can do one in the air one touching two in the air one touching or constantly just pulsing up there creating a lot of tension in your glutes and in your hamstrings very good observe that right leg still pushing up and now stand back up isolating still isolating the left leg this time standing in lunge back and knee raise right leg is coming up into a knee raise and then lunging backwards very good keep your balance your left leg might be fatiguing a little bit especially this hip because we've been working a lot on it but try to keep your balance brace your foot push that heel into the ground push that mount off your big toe into the ground and help your body by bracing your core so again navel is pulling in sternum is pulling up and chest is open so brace your core contract your waist pulling that waist in and then opening the chest shoulders are down wonderful you made it okay you can lie down now other leg is working so this is now isolating the right leg right foot is on the floor left leg is pushing up into the air and again pulsating up in the air without touching the ground will increase the time under tension and thus burn more calories work more <laughs> create an even hotter leg and hip so whatever you can one pulse in the air then dropping back down two pulses in the air dropping back down try to get as much variety into that movement experimenting a little bit and try to push yourself if you're not fatigued at the end of the 45 seconds your variation was too smooth okay here we go left leg is swinging right leg is working right leg is the one we've been working on so make sure you keep your balance on that right leg again pushing the heel and the big toe mount into the ground doing a nice big step into your low lunge position 90 90 degree angle with your chest open shoulders are staying over your hips i know when doing lunges and we're trying to of course make it a little bit easier because we're starting to fatigue the chest starts to collapse forward and we're trying to lean on the forward leg 
but try to stay upright in an upright position with the shoulders as much as possible over your hips and have those arms in place because this will help you keep your balance if these arms move in sprinter position diagonally and to we're legs. having a nice little rest so depending on where you are right now with your breath with your legs burning you can either stay in the static stretch just staying in that forward fold and just easy and relaxed or if you feel like moving a little bit because that's how you rest best that is how you recover best then go down into your low squat and then fold forward i sometimes find it easier to relax when switching between activating and deactivating tension and relaxation sometimes it's hard to just relax out of nothing but relaxing out of a tension or out of a movement is often really easy because you feel the contrast great now up for the core burner so here we go this is second run now we're doing our core and we're starting in plank position plank pose alternating leg lift so our hands are underneath our shoulders middle fingers are pointing forwards and are parallel make sure your shoulders stay away from your ears nice long leg with the crown of your head pointing forward and then keep your position stable brace your core so that your hips are not shifting left and right this is the whole secret otherwise we're just doing shoulder twists or core twists here and our hips are just moving left and right and it's all gonna be easy and we're wrecking our shoulders in the process so brace your core try to fix your your waist your hips in place and control this leg movement this is such a nice exercise all right resting here in dead back position either with your knees bent or with your legs straight according to your level so if you're getting your knees bent keep the knees above your hips hands are above your shoulders and then reach out diagonally behind you try not to touch the floor that would be cheating so stay up in the air just a few centimeters and enjoy the tension created with these big angles and you do want to make sure that your belly isn't moving your belly isn't popping out you're not arching more you try to create a little bit of tension from you pulling your navel in contracting your waist in but your sternum stays nice and open and then you can move your arms and legs wherever you want nice and easy cool okay here's a little bit of cardio activating and we don't want to forget about those legs so here's a mountain climber for 45 seconds get into your plank and then either step forward by pushing your by pulling your knee forward and then stepping forward bringing one foot down at a time or you're jumping forward which is switching the knees forward and this is really nice when you get the rhythm try to get the arms into the game this is 50 percent shoulders and arms so if you're having the weight on your arms this gets a lot easier on the legs however if you're pushing your way too far backwards like pushing into the hands and trying to go in something like a down dog then this will be super hard on your legs so bring your weight forward shifting those shoulders over your hands that will be much easier cool it's like a little handstand prep and now we're doing the opposite of a handstand we're doing nice little pilates pullovers and this is supposed to work on your spinal mobilization to work on your core and we're trying to resist especially the going down so the movement is resisting gravity while slowly rolling down pushing up by pushing the arms into the ground then exhaling resisting as much as possible and you can even go slower than i'm going here by rolling down even slower as slow as you can and just keep the legs ab above the hips in the end position no need to go lower you can have those knees bent if straight is too difficult for you but have this resistance going while rolling down and really feel your abdominals contracting here this is great so since we've done so much abdominal work have a little rest 
Try to open your chest, relax your belly, breathe into your belly. If you want to, you can reach your arms overhead, you can stretch your legs out, make little C shapes, wiggle woggle, wumble around on the floor, do whatever you want. Drink a bit of water and then we go for our last and the best set, of course. So another plank position. I hope your shoulders are not fatiguing. You can always go down onto swings onto your forearms in this uh, movement. And now try to stabilize as much as possible. It's now that you see where you have to work. So either your wrists are fatiguing or your shoulders are fatiguing. Your arms might start to twitch or it's your hips starting to move and you're getting a hard time controlling. So in the second run, you always see what you need to work on because your body is not fresh anymore, <laughs> not totally fresh and starting to fatigue a little bit. So you can see exactly what you need to work on. Maybe it's pulling the shoulders more away from the ears and pulling the shoulder blades towards the spine, or maybe it's the core that needs work. And here we go. This looks like an easy exercise, but it's not. Lying on your back, bracing your core, resisting to arch your back even more, and then reaching out arms and legs. And now you can play with the legs and the angles. So if you want to straighten those legs, stretch those legs out and try the same movement with straight legs and straight arms and see if your belly can still protect your spine, if you can still keep the tension from pulling the navel in and towards the spine so that your back is nicely protected and stays in the same long line. Very good, keep breathing. Sometimes it's hard to breathe during abdominal work. Inhaling and exhaling. Okay, if you need to pause the video quickly, I'll give you 30 seconds. Else, here we go, mountain climbers. Middle fingers parallel pointing forward, shoulders above your wrists and now keep jumping, stepping, marching, whatever you can still do. And I sometimes find it easier to think. This is a handstand prep. So when handstanding, you sometimes want to push your weight over your hands so that the shoulders are forward to your hands and your wrists so you can get up into that handstand. So try that and really have your weight on your hands and you'll see how nice and easy this goes then for your legs. Just simply switching, jumping forward and keep breathing. Very good. Ah, oh, last one resisting but i think this exercise is actually quite fun because you can play with the downward movement you can try challenging yourself by going down rolling down as slowly as possible and the next one all oh, slow and even slower than before and then challenge yourself by rolling vertebra by vertebrae down by really trying to touch one bit of your back at a time even in the lower back so that we get a nice little movement in there this is basically mobilizing your spine and make sure that your head stays without weight we don't want to have too much weight on your neck and on your head in this movement so the shoulder the neck the head should stay more or less relaxed without too much going on here and one last time and rolling down and you made it let's do some stretching now we've done all this warming up now we can do what we came for our stretching so grab your right foot come into a quad stretch pushing your hips forward keeping those thighs parallel and keep your balance. You can either reach the arm overhead to the side or just bring your hand into your waist. Make sure that the hip doesn't come up, but the two hip points are parallel to the ground, pointing forward. Glutes contract slightly, then change leg and grab your left foot. You want to grab your left ankle or the lower part of your calf. You do not really want to grab your toes. This is too much stress, stress on your feet. And then bring those thighs 
parallel knees are closely together pushing those hips forward opening the chest standing tall this is a great stretch and here we go for the shoulders and our chest nice counter movement for all those planks and mountain climbers so you bring those hands together over your sacrum then lift those hands away from your sacrum trying not to collapse forward but those shoulders stay firmly on your rib cage pulling backwards and down so the rib cage holds your shoulder girdle nice and firm very good some side stretching a little bit of activity here and the last little stretch so we skip the squat that we did in the beginning we're just standing feet parallel and then coming straight into our C shape bringing one leg behind and then reaching over with the same arm and you can do that as slow as you want sometimes I really like to stay in that C shape and stretch everything that I can opening rib by rib bringing air and light into these sides and sometimes you want to go a bit faster so do however you like try to bring the breathing in so it's inhaling while you're standing tall and then exhaling into the stretch inhaling while you're standing tall and then exhaling into the stretch and try to keep your shoulders open so the upper shoulder doesn't collapse forward but stays in a same plane as the other shoulder so you sometimes need to open up a little bit as if you would want to look at the ceiling so your shoulder needs to make way to the ceiling all right that's it well done everyone i hope you had fun i hope everything is burning if you want to follow instagram there's a special workout and now please subscribe to the channel and i hope to see you soon bye